Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Wow, wasn't supposed to see that character when I started up. We'll get to her in just a moment. Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yesterday we met up with the former mayor of Palette, Tortimer, and he invited us to go visit a tropical island today. And today, well, we're obviously going to be doing that, but I think we'll be taking care of some other things in town first. Let's start off with talking to you, Sahara. Sahara is an example of a special visitor. You get these on random days, and finally, I can show one of these. She has wallpapers for the papering of walls, mini carpets for the petting of cars. Haha, <laughs> I love the puns already. Or 3,000 bells, deal. Okay. Ah, it is nice. Let us travel to your place swiftly. We're already here. Now, uh, interesting thing about Sahara. Originally, she was just a carpet character. She was not a carpet and wallpaper character. Not only that, but Sahara is male in the Japanese version, was edited to be a female in the American version. That's the reason for Sahara having a male voice despite being a female character. Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just a thing. Yes, yes. Now I will accept payment for, of the money for 3,000 bells. Thank you. Yes, okay. Man, she's more awkward than Nook. I know that she's like supposed to be foreign, though, but still just like, I will accept the payment of money. You will wait outside. Yes, just a bit, please. Thank you. Yes. She says yes about as much as Nook does as well. All right. Well, let's see what she's got in store for us. Uh, well, uh, Nook is quieter than you in doing construction, and all you're doing is putting up wallpaper. Done like the past, tomorrow is here. The future needs not this, so you must take it. She'll give you your old carpet and wallpaper, and basically she has given us new carpet and wallpaper that she thought fit the furniture of our room. Now, every now and again, I like what she picks, but most of the time, I'm not really- I'm gonna biscuits off of there! Crap, I really should have talked to him while I still had him, because now I'm not gonna be able to find him again. You know how that works. And- Whoa! Um... So we have, like, an Aztec temple carpet and a boxing ring audience. Strange. To say the least. Uh, well. What do I want to do here? Uh... Doesn't really match the carpet, but I'll keep the paw print wall up. I don't really want that boxing ring thing. Now, a lot of Sahara's carpets and wallpapers are exclusive. You can only get them through her, and you're going to want to hang on to them as a result of that because they're not easy to find elsewhere. I don't like the uh, ringside seating. I think it isn't. Hey, somebody new is moving into here. Um, Wow. Usually whenever somebody... Egbert! Oh! Oh, sorry. I don't mean to get so excited, though, but Egbert is... He was one of my original villagers in my very first Animal Crossing town as well. Like, he was one of my starting animals the very first time I ever played Animal Crossing. Oh, I'm excited to have him. Speaking of animals, I'm excited too to have in my town. Let's talk to Biscuit, because I haven't seen you in two days, buddy. Hey, 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 Emil, it's perfect weather for chilling outside. Seriously, dog. Oh, man. Him and I are getting along great. It looks like. Want to chat, buddy? I was trying to open the drawer with my foot, and I stubbed my toe, dog. It hurt so much I cried. I still want to learn how to do chores using only my feet. It's a long-term goal of mine. Interesting life you lead there. Now you can see why him and I get along so great. And oh, hey, the tree has grown bigger. Uh, the tree keeps getting bigger in real time. It is dependent on A, your playtime of Animal Crossing New Leaf, as well as how many days of real time have passed since your uh, town got started. Hey, new bulletin board. Everyone's generosity pal has completed the anticipated new campsite. Okay. Sorry about the cut there, thought I heard something and I got interrupted briefly. Um, well, I didn't really get interrupted, I was just being paranoid and thought I heard something. And well, I think a good place for us to head now would be to Town Hall, because we funded our public works project yesterday of the campsite, and I'd like to head there just to see what Isabel has to say about it. Not only that, but if you remember, we had a new villager named... Pietro, there it goes, moving into our town, and I want to meet him. I want to see what kind of animal this guy is, because he's got a really weird house, and I don't know that name. Let's see. Whoa! Freaking psychedelic sheep! Hey, you're Emil, right? I just moved here, but I already heard your name all over town. My name's Pietro, and I, and I bet everyone here is going to be talking about me soon, too. Oh, they're going to be talking about you, all right? Yeah, you and me will be best friends in no time. Coming over, uh, what, uh, coming over whenever after I'm unpacked. I'm on. That's a really awkward sentence. Just saying. I struggled to say that, and it looks kind of weird even then. I like his very MC Escher type walls, like with cats on them and stuff like that, with these weird optical illusions. It's really cool. Um. Well, I was not expecting this at all. I was expecting him to be a monkey similar to uh, Shari, to be honest. But no, I, I'll gladly take a psychedelic clown sheep. That is awesome, man. 
I'm getting some good animals this time around. I, I'm, I'm feeling very like, I also like how we have a rainbow colored animal right near this rainbow colored flag, so. Yeah, I, I guess we could see that. <laughs> Let's go talk to Isabel. Let's not waste any more time. By the way, sorry if yesterday's video felt a little disjointed. I just had to make like a lot of cuts here and there just because it was running a bit long, but I'm gonna try to have smoother videos from here on out. Sit in our Meryl chair, and yeah, I do all kinds of other Meryl stuff. Oh, Mayor, I just remembered. Townsfolk would like to hold the ceremony to celebrate completing the campsite project. And considering you're the one who made all this possible, we want you to attend. What do you say? I'd be happy to. Now, these are always really, really cute moments, I've always thought. Just like whenever you complete these and Isabel just makes preparations for some kind of ceremony for you to attend. For the completion of something that the townsfolk wanted. I don't know, it's just, I always found it to be really, really cute. Ahem, hello everyone! Welcome to the grand completion of ceremony of Palette's Vital Campsite Project! Thank you for joining us on this momentous occasion! I'm Isabel, and I'll be your host today! Aw, oh, they all clap. I only like two of these animals, though. Thank you, thank you, and welcome again to the Muppet Show! Okay, no, not really. Why does it like Nigel Thornberry when trying to be like Kermit the Frog? First up, we have an incredibly short speech from our own mayor. Take it away, Mayor Emile! By short speech, she means three words at minimum, five words the most. I'll just say hooray for everyone because we actually didn't do it. I donated all the money myself. Yay, hooray for everyone! Well said, Mayor. You have quite the way with words. Okay, moving on. Everybody, please locate that item we passed it earlier and get ready. Something that I have yet to say is that if you press the L and R buttons at the same time, you can take photos. And I always like to take photos of these moments just to kind of have them forever. Celebrate the completion of the Public Works Project and all the hard work that made this possible. Ready? Through set. Pop! There we go. That concludes our ceremony. Thanks everyone for all your hard work and for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. Now these ceremonies are great because they sometimes bring together animals that you want to talk to or just that you're having trouble finding. Isabel takes off automatically, but uh, let's talk to Shari because I get the feeling you guys want me to. Sun's pretty high now. Even I'm not sleepy anymore, Cheeky. So, what's up? Hey, this Thursday is the Harvest Festival, right? I can't wait. We're going to chow down on Chef Franklin's cooking. I'm gathering ingredients ahead of time, so don't panic on Thursday. I need a fishing rod, Cheeky. Yeah. How is Pongo the Jerk doing? I wasn't going to talk to you, but you know what? I will, just because I'm for second chances, I will give you one. Let's see how nice you are. Really good at catching fish, right, Emil? Well, how about river fish? Yeah, I totally need one of those. I won't be picky about it, I swear. Huh. Okay. And if I'm not mistaken, I have a carp in my inventory right now from yesterday. So let's see, I caught something. Indeed I do. I'll just give her this. Now, what is it gonna be? She's gonna screw this up somehow. Just watch, she's gonna be mean. All right. Uh, I'm starting to feel bad for doubting her. Let me thank you, okay, here, take this. Okay, what is it? A shirt, okay. A flame shirt? Huh, and she called me here. I don't know if she's being nice and trying to make up for it. By the way, epic voice crack. Or if she's just being very manipulative. I've yet to figure out what her agenda is, and it worries me. <laughs> uh, who else was around here? There was one other animal that was right around here. Where's Molly? She was just here. Oh, she's behind the tree. Hello, Emil. You seem chipper as always. What's the latest? Carrying my net around so when I see a bug, I can react more quickly. Now just to find some. She hasn't really been too interesting lately, to be honest. She's just kind of telling us, like, oh, hey, I'm out catching bugs, or oh, hey, I'm out doing this, and mush furniture once again. Mush wall lamp. I already have that, so no need to hang on to it. Um, I'd say that for now, we head up to Main Street before we head down to that tropical island that we were going to go see that Tortimer invited us to. Wow, that was a very long-winded way of saying that. So, to Main Street we go. Hey, wait a second. Uh, this right here. It's kind of funny that I was talking about spending money on Main Street to make stuff happen. Main Street is very barren right now. There's a lot of abandoned buildings, and it just has a lot of gaps in it. And, well, this building is under construction right here. In due time, maybe we'll get to see what's there. For now, I want to head to the Nookling Junction and see if there's anything that we can get for our house. And if there's nothing there, well, we can at least see the Daily Fortune. Huh. Okay. Um, I have that mush TV that I really, really like, but... This Astro TV is really cool looking and it matches the orange look of my house, so I think I'll take this actually. And I'm carrying too many things. Be right back, guys! 
Esther TV it is! 3200 bells is kind of a lot, but I'll take it. Alright, and I'll take the Daily Fortune as well, okay. The Daily Fortune, the great words of wisdom from a chunk of fried dough says... A bulb in your future is looking dim. Bring a flashlight. Once again, doesn't sound too favorable. I don't know if today's really gonna be a great day. Let's give you this lucky ticket and see what you say. Because I'm a little worried that might not be a winning ticket. Let's see. Come on. Aww, I'm sorry to say, number 16 is not a winner. Please accept this item. The Blue Bureau is a consolation prize. So close. Uh, I don't mind this item, actually. I'm perfectly fine with it. I mean, a furniture item for two play coins is a furniture item for two play coins. I'll say that much. All right, Able Sisters next. May I just say that Samurai Pants is probably the best name for anything ever? And just for that, I'm gonna try these on. Let's see. So I look like that with them. Yeah, I'll... Well, I meant to say I'll wear it out, though, but yeah. I'll buy it and don't wear it out. Now, what does Sable have to say, huh? Hmm. Sorry about that. She always gets like that whenever she's focused on something. And she will not say anything else to us. She doesn't even say a word to us. You know, on previous day, she's like, Mabel, you have a customer to deal with. But today, she's just not even saying anything. How wonderful. Hey, Luigi hat! Um. Oh, why not? I'll be a flaming Luigi. Yeah, I want the little bro's hat. I'd like to try it on. Better than this yellow Pikmin thing that I'm wearing. Hey, I like the little jingle that it plays. I forgot about that. 320 bells. Uh, I'll keep it on. Okay. Thank you for that label, and I think I'm good to go. I am a fiery Luigi. I don't really want to do those other accessories, so I think we're done shopping here for now. Now, you're probably thinking something. I've accumulated a lot of items here. I got, like, you know, some pitfalls. I got this toad hat that I'm not wearing. I have a mush wall lamp, which mush items are not easily replaced because you can only find them as mushrooms on the ground and they're limited spawns. Uh, I have... What else do I have? I have this yellow Pikmin that isn't easily replaced because you get that from a fortune cookie. And what do you do with items that you think are precious and you would consider valuables that you don't want to just get rid of or sell, but you also don't want to take of inventory space? Well, first and foremost... You want to head to the train station that you came to town in, because inside here... Head on over to the side, and you can open this. This locker will allow you to drop off items that you don't need, and in fact, it's very convenient because it's just on the way out of town if you're going to go visit somebody. So if you want to take some items with you to give them or something like that, it's nice and convenient. You can just stop by here. That's pretty much all I wanted to do. Now... That was very good time for me to... It was very good time for me to get that blue bureau because... When I put it down, I can press A against it and check it out. I can redeem the items that I have dropped off at the train station. I can do this vice versa as well. So, having a dresser is a helpful item. It's just not quite as helpful as it was in previous Animal Crossing games because it used to be that you could only redeem them inside of dressers inside of your house. Also, if this is your first Animal Crossing game, once again, I would like to say, feel very, very lucky. In the very first Animal Crossing game, you only got a storage of three items inside of a dresser or something like that. Now you get like, what, like 150 or something like that? It's ridiculous how much you get compared to how much you used to get. So, once again, feel very lucky if this is your first Animal Crossing game. But, um, I think we've done just about everything in town that I want to go do, so how about... We head down to the docks and, well, check it out! This is the boat driver that Tartimer was telling us would be here today. Cap'n! Gar, what in the deep blue? Do me peepers peep for our new mayor, Nemo we meal? Yarrrrrrr, old Tartimer left a whale of a job for two a wee minnow. Nah, don't pay me no mind. I'll be known as Cap'n. My fairy folks across the briny deep to the island and back in me boat, as opposed to on his back. If you fe if you fancy yourself an ocean voyage to the island, why not hustle over here, ya wee shrimp sandwich? Indeed I do. What's that? If you want to head to the island, that'll be 1,000 bells per round trip. Yes, I will do this. Gar, good deal. Leave her to me. You can't bring your effects on the island, so I'll just be... Holding on to him for ye. Don't worry yourself, done. Most of your stuff will probably be here when ye get back. Yarrr! Well then, hop in me boat, by gar! Now, Cap'n is a fan favorite character. He has been here since the beginning, at least for American gamers. He was not in the Japanese Animal Crossing. But, Cap'n is one of my absolute favorite characters. Why is that? Well, not only is he really funny and he says some really memorable things, but 
I'll just let Captain show you himself why he's so beloved. Take it away. Beautiful, excellent, gorgeous. We be landing soon. As we disembark onto the island, we got a lot of things that we can do. First off, right over here, Gramps, shiver me timbers! Don't be sneaking up on an old woman like that! Nearly scared me out of me shell! And that wouldn't be a pretty sight. <laughs> so we have a nearsightedness joke and a naked old woman joke. How wonderful is that? So, this is Cap'n's mother. She sells you various items and things like that. She does not accept bells, but instead medals. How do you get medals? You, well, you want to go talk to her daughter-in-law, as she's saying. So, before we head over and see, presumably, Cap'n's wife, as the daughter-in-law, we got a lot of items here. Well, not a lot, though, but still, these are very unique. First off, this piece of paper. This is actually not stationary. This is an invitation to Club Tortimer. If you're able to join this, you can play online on this island with anyone in the world. You can restrict what languages you can play with if you want to keep it to English speakers and stuff like that, but yeah, you get to play online with all kinds of people on this island. Uh, you get accessories and furniture, but this middle one right here is a hibiscus. These are bushes that you can grow on the mainland that have flowers on them depending on what season it is. These are really, really nice, and I like getting them, and as of right now, it's the only way that we can get flower bushes, so maybe I'll go for some of those later. Leilani over here will allow you to go back to the mainland, and oh, Tortimer told her about, told her about us. And yeah, she also does these things called tours. These are basically mini games where you go to faraway lands, other towns, other islands, things like that. And well, these are mini games that you can play either by yourself or in multiplayer. Only a few of them are open to you right away. And well, while I could show this mechanic right now, I think it'd be more fun if we had some other people with us. So whenever I decide to have some friends over, like I was saying in the trailer video for this, I would like to do that. Now, the very last thing here in this little cabana here is Cap'n's daughter. This is Layla. She's apparently the princess of said island. She wants to play store. You can't bring your items from the mainland here, as Cap'n was telling us earlier, but you can find items on the island she can buy them from you if you don't want to walk all the way, if you don't want to take the boat back and go all the way to retail. But because she's just a little girl, she only pays a measly 10% of what the item is actually worth. Not worth it at all, if you ask me. That does it for the family of Kappas. I've mentioned their roles in mythology countless other times, so I think we can move on to Lloyd the Gyroid right here. This guy is amazing. You, you cannot bring your own tools to the island, but instead he will allow you to borrow tools free of charge. He has a shovel, of course. He has the axe, which we actually haven't seen yet. Haha. <laughs> but I'm going to get the net, the fishing rod, and something we haven't seen before, the uh, wetsuit. Now, if I may show the map of the island real quick, it's quite small, and... Oh! Um, well, that fish has got a fin on it, and it's quite rare. Ah! Uh, oh, I thought I got it, dang it. Uh, yeah, if you ever see a fish with a fin on it, you want to make sure to catch it. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit of fishing right here. I haven't done any saltwater fishing quite yet. It differs greatly in the type of stuff that you find from freshwater fishing, so there is a difference. It's not just me being like, you know, I got a fish here today, I got a fish there today, and looks like I found Nemo. <laughs> Everyone makes that joke, and even though I don't really think it's that funny of a joke, I can't resist making it. I'm sorry. So, we got loads of stuff here. We got some palm trees growing on the beach with some bananas in them. You're going to want to pick some of those and take them home with you. Trust me on this. Planting them in the sand, while it might be kind of far from retail, these are valuable fruits that are worth a lot of money no matter what town you are living in. 
There's other tropical fruits you can get as well. In fact, those oak trees that are growing in the middle right there should... Or, not oak trees, though, but, like, oak-ish trees. Of course, I keep messing up fishing. It's hard to fish and talk at the same time. Don't make fun of me until you've tried it. It's really, really difficult. And, ooh, a long, skinny shadow. We haven't seen that quite yet. Well, uh, it's something new. It's not the best thing in the world. A ribbon eel, good for tying on to presents. That sounds very gruesome, using a living thing to tie presents. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I like that one too much. It'd be really nice if I could get another one of those really rare things, because I'd like to show just how valuable the stuff you find on the island is. Finding Dory! I caught a squid, yes I did. I got a fair amount of fishing done outside. We have a full inventory, and well, if we try to head back to the mainland, we are not allowed to take items with us on the boat. How do you get around that? Well, head over to this box, and you can drop off these items to redeem them on the other side. You get four whole pages worth of items that you can store here. This is very helpful, and this is just me going around catching any old fish, not throwing any back, and just taking what I get on my first try. I am very excited to show you how much I get from selling this stuff afterward. Now, I did say that I was going to do other things besides just fish, and well, I feel like catching bugs would be a way for us to explore more of the island. And well, thing is, this island's not that big. Really, this is pretty much it right about here. This is all the island aside from that ring of a beach around it, so it's very small. But as small as it might be, it is super rich with resources. You can make so much money going around here. It's ridiculous. Like, I really can't wait to show you just how lucrative it is to come to this island. And uh, those fruit on that tree right there, you might recognize those. Some Super Mario Sunshine players might recognize them. Those are durians, yet another type of exotic fruit that you cannot get on the mainland. You want to grab as many of these as possible, or... You don't need to get too many of them, to be fair, but I do want to get a fair amount of them to take back home with us. And they only take up one inventory space per nine of them, and I think that there's only nine of them on the entire island, so we might as well pick all the ones that we see. This is all well and good, but I know what you guys want to see. You want to know what that wetsuit is for. And well, I am happy to oblige, after I pick a bunch of bananas from all over this beach and, you know, do that. <laughs> after I do that and then do that, I have wonderful commentary skills. I really, really do. But those are all things that we have seen before. And you're just all like, Chugga, show us something that we have not done before. Show us something brand new, you know, because there's got to be tons of new stuff you can do on this island. Well, even though I'm not going to be showing the tours today, there is something new. That wetsuit that we got before. We can put that on. I want to remove my equipment. And well, with this wetsuit, we are able to go swimming! Something entirely new to Animal Crossing New Leaf that you could not do in any previous installment. Swimming. This has more purpose than just going in the water. Now, you might be thinking, like, oh, can I swim back to land like this without having to pay captain? No, you cannot. Not only that, but wetsuits, you must get them here on the island, and Grams didn't have any for sale, so for now, we're limited to only doing this on the island. Whenever you see shadows with bubbles going up, you want to press Y to dive, and you want to mash the A button to catch up to it really, really quickly. You press the A button to do a breaststroke, and hey, a scallop! Hey, this isn't a potato at all! I wonder if my encyclopedia says my menu. Fine, okay. Uh, the scallop is actually a very special item. If you're gonna fi if you find one of those while swimming, oh, the, the 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 jellyfish, 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 jellyfish. If only getting swung stung by a jellyfish was that often. There's jellyfish that appear throughout the water, and if you touch one, you get stunned for a few moments. They can screw you out of getting some potential catches. Uh, but scallops. It's kind of funny that I got that as my very first one because that's not only rare. But when we get to the point where we can go swimming on the mainland, those are a very special item. The scallops on the island don't really mean anything special, though, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and dive and find one more thing. I don't want to waste too much time on swimming right here. I mean, I do want to show it a little bit. Oh, I like the sea slug. What, it thought it could outrun me? It never said that. These aren't even puns. Like I said, make puns. Stop just making, like, not witty observations that you think constitute as jokes. I'm a very fine one to talk in that regard. I know. So, I think we're pretty much done here on the island. I don't want to waste too much time just kind of dawdling around here. So, I'm going to put away everything that we have gotten, and yeah, we're going to head back to the mainland now. Back on land, we have this thing right here, the item pickup box. You can take items out, but you cannot put items in, so this is not a secondary storage of any kind. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to withdraw all these fish and bugs and things we got through diving, and I'm going to donate all of the ones that we have not caught before to the museum, and then sell off the extras to retail and show you just how much money I get for this. 
And yes, the dock can only ever be at the very bottom of your map, and the museum can only be at the very top, so it really is that long of a walk every time you want to donate stuff. 15,780 bells! Just from a regular visit to the island that was, what, 10 whole minutes? Yeah. You don't even need to go to the island for long to get that much money. I didn't even fill up the storage that we got coming back. And you want to know what else? Daytime isn't even the ideal time to go to the island. There's things you can only find at daytime, but the stuff you find at nighttime is worth way more money than that. I didn't want to go there at nighttime right away. I do plan to go there at nighttime in the future, but that's just a small example of how much money you can make by going to that island. A thousand bells to go there and back is infinitely worth it whenever you have time to do it. Now, about the ordinance that I said we were going to be enacting. Thing is, the time of recording this, the poll hasn't even started yet, so I can't really tell you which ordinance we're going with. But, fear not, I do have something else that I would like you guys to do in the way of suggestions. I think we should decide on our next public works project, and I think that, well, no matter how many polls I hold, no matter what I do, everybody's gonna say that the one that I should build is definitely a bridge. Because we only have one bridge, and those are the most convenient ones of all. There are two types of bridges that we can choose from. They are cobblestone and suspension. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is, instead of doing a poll or something like that, through hashtag ChuggaCrossing on Twitter or Facebook, I want you to write in the funniest reason you can think of for choosing one type of bridge over the other. Sounds like a tough thing to make a joke out of? That's the challenge. So, I think this will be an interesting way to do things. I will feature whatever makes me laugh the hardest as the reason for choosing one type of bridge over the other. So, let's do it like that. Now, I do have one last thing to mention. While doing the morning routine today, Shari suggested a new public works project that was not on the list yesterday. Animals can do this when initiating conversations with you. And I'll just leave you with this screenshot of what she said because it's pretty friggin' hilarious. <laughs> so there you go. Go ahead and make your suggestions for that new public works project. And well, tomorrow on Animal Crossing New Leaf, we're going to start constructing our second public works project. And I don't know what else the future holds. We'll just have to wait and see. See you guys tomorrow.